Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish pop. Happy New Year. How is the life of a Pisces going for January 2019? Are you guys embracing the new? Are you feeling like something big is coming? Mocha, I just don't know what the hell it is. Tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. How are you guys really enjoying really seeing the manifestations and the affirmations that you put out? Coming back to you. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this, first, if this is your first time to my channel, I cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please find another beautiful uh, you re reader on YouTube that can resonate with you better. I got my tongue twisted. And even when I was kind of digging in you guys' energy, it was all over the place. So, bear with me, okay? I definitely feel that you guys need to really work on your throat chakra during this time, okay? Um, but going uh, forward and foremost, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Pisces for January 2019. This is just a general. If um, you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I'm going on a break break um, this month of December, December, this month of January. So after, and I, and I think I actually announced it in December, but I'm announcing it again. I'm going on a break break, so ain't going to be no mid-month. I love y'all, but I love me. A whole lot more and I gotta get me together okay I haven't never taken a break since my channel has been open and we've been a knock on the year on January 26th thank God so I'm very grateful thank you guys for allowing me to share my love my light my wisdom my encouragement my uplifting um, with you all thank you so much just for being so receiving and so supportive during this time thank you for just sticking with me throughout this year thank you for being a part of my soul family I truly appreciate you all because without you all and your support this shit, this shit would not have moved, okay, and sailed forward the way that it has in this past year. I'm so grateful. One year, less than a year, and I almost got 10,000 subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing. Welcome to the family, okay? Uh, to all my likes, my shares, my comments, y'all. Thank you so very much. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to get on my sensitive Pisces moon shit. But I am going to say thank you so much, and we're going to keep this thing on trucking. Do you understand me? All right, so you all, um, I, I do have a $15 off special up until January the 7th, 2019, um, and then after that, I will only be taking emergency readings where the prices are different, okay? So all of that information can be found within the description. We're going to rock out, okay? So again, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Pisces. Um, if this does not resonate, y'all, please check your Sun, your Moon, your Rising, um, and whatever is applicable to you, okay? So let's rock. We're going to start with our angel messages, which are coming from the Doreen, um, Doreen Virtue Angel or Cards. All right. So we're going to see what the archangels have to say for my Pisces. Angels, what messages do we have for my Pisces? I was trying to pull one. They say pull three. Well, all right. Do you have four beautiful Pisces? My water babies. Funny, they said pull three and three fell out. What you guys got was healthy lifestyle. Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Okay, so some of you guys are definitely having to switch your diet, okay, and shift the way that you're actually shift what, what it is that you're consuming, right, during this time. I also got moon cycles. This card actually popped out a few times when I was shuffling your energy. So there's definitely some type of information that Pisces is going to have uh, that's going to be coming in for my Pisces around the moon cycles. And there's a need to really, really, really embrace and pay attention to how you feel emotionally, okay, as well as the things that's going on around you. Really observe how that makes you feel. Get in tune with that, all right? But what it says is Archangel Haniel, okay? Moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles, okay? All right, so there's definitely, yeah, there, there's a need to, again, um, hone what it is that you're feeling around the moon cycles, okay? The next thing that I have is nurture, okay? So with the depiction of this 
of this child being um, covered by angels. Some of you all have divine blessings coming during this time. Nurture Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important to you right now. So there's a need for a lot of you all to connect with your inner child and truly nurture yourself. Watch what it is that you're intaking, okay? Respect the God that lives in you, Pisces. All right, let's rock. Let's get into your spiritual message for the month of January 2019. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful Pisces? What messages do you have for my Pisces? What can they expect to receive from Spirit in January 2019? What information is it that they need you to no, no spirit. Thank you. And what message do you have from Pisces? For the month of January, yeah. Some of you guys, <laughs> there's definitely um, information that's coming to you during this time. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really needing to trust uh, your dreams around the moon cycles. I also see that pieces of a particular puzzle um, that you need to come together or actually form it right before your eyes. Some of you all have been manifesting truth, manifesting clarity, and it's coming in the damnedest way during this time. I feel that there is bits and pieces, okay? So there's, I'm hearing connections. So there are maybe connections that you guys, you need to be receptive and be open to having um, communication communication open communication with people especially family family members during this time because i feel that there is pieces to an an internal puzzle that's needing that's actually coming to to an end during this time some of you guys are going to be able to put the missing pieces together to be able to set to come to come to this aha moment of oh shit that's what that was that's what i was missing in order for me to see this particular situation for what it is, this particular um, circumstance for what it is, so that I can move forward in a positive way, okay? You're definitely ending cycles during this time, closing out, okay? And it's definitely going to infuse an infinite balance within yourself. I feel that some of you all are definitely kind of infusing your masculine and your feminine energies. For some of you all, there is chapter, clo I'm hearing chapter closing. There's a closing of chapters, okay, during this time. Some of you guys are actually making life cycle shifts, okay, and it's it's infinite, okay. It's destined for you guys to actually go through this particular circumstance, whatever it means, or however it actually resonates for you. For some of you all, it's definitely internal things coming into alignment internally, all right? Yeah, some of you all, stability, okay. What that, I feel like your internal harmony has attracted this stability into your life what it is that you internally believe is what you're actually seeing projected in your external world so during this time if you believe in success if you believe in firm foundations if you believe in harmony and relationships that's the pieces of the puzzle that are coming together right before your eyes so there's this sense of alignment that is occurring for Pisces okay I definitely see that some of you all are literally finding that balance within and within doing so you're able to see how other people has projected their fears on you in the past. Some of you all are really replaying, I feel, hereditary cycles, the things that you know um, about your family. Things are kind of coming together to give you a different understanding. Some of you all were expecting something from family members or you're needing something or some piece of validation from possibly people who raised you, your mother, your father, your sisters, uncles, cousins, brothers, take it how it resonates. But I feel like there's this need of validation that you're validating within the self. There's a sense of harmony that's coming to coming to fruition for my Pisces. And it's a beautiful, it's some beautiful shit, I gotta say. Okay. Let's just see you have for Pisces. Yeah. For some of you all, it's completing life cycles. Okay. For some of you all, it's definitely closing chapters. You know, you have, I feel like there's a choice that you have to walk beyond what it is that you know to be paths, okay? I feel like for some of you all, maybe you've been avoiding completing a cycle, but there is this balance and stability coming to situations in order to bring this closing so that you can actually move forward with harmony versus fears and doubts and that confusion. I feel that, yeah. A lot of y'all are just strictly moving forward. I feel like things that once kept you stuck and maybe things that once kept you 
feeling like you were kind of sinking in, sinking in this place of stagnancy. A lot of y'all are completing cycles. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of sevens during this time too. There's this great sense of abundance that I feel with Pisces, even with the energy. It's like magnetic, okay? I feel that whatever it is that you guys were putting out into the universe to try to bring to you, whatever your intentions were to bring forward, to manifest, you're actually seeing them during this time. And Spirit wants you to be um, not, only a, 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 not only acknowledging to that, but actually accepting and receiving, whether good or bad, you manifest this. It's really showing you the power of the mind, okay? For some of you all, damn it, I just, damn it, Pisces. Look here. 777, seven, seven, with this being the number three. Some of you all, there's this expansion happening as far as abundance. You understand? Some of y'all, Lady Luck is definitely on your side during this time. Something about the number, of the, something about the month of March, or could be the third week in January. Some of you all have def, definitely have great luck financially, okay? So this could come in the form of an opportunity. This can come in the form of, I'm hearing inheritance. This can also come in the form of, for some of you all, lottery. For some of you all, gambling. Go to take your ass to the casino. If your hands is itching, they itching for a reason. Ch Ching, you understand me? Go get it. Some of you all are really needing to expand from this place of fear. Some of you all are living in this place of self-proclaimed prophecies, and I feel like you kind of, if you're attracting nothing but bad shit in your life, it's because you're looking at situations only seeing the worst out of them. You really need to start seeing the positive out of situations. Yeah, that person left, but damn it, they was kind of a blockage in my damn life anyway. Money slowed down. Shit was slowing up. But I'm grateful for the lesson that they brought me because it taught me how to love myself and put me first in situations. You know, and so there's definitely an expansion I feel within the self to bring you to this harmonious place of acceptance, acceptance and gratitude. Okay, but some of y'all, y'all getting ready to travel. Some of you all, there could be a uh, an opportunity open up, opening up during this time. This could be having to do with the creative endeavor. This could also be connected to you externally, maybe through some type of a uh, partnership or a relationship the fact that i'm here in harmony and i'm also seeing um the number six and seven here as well as increments of three because i also see this damn harmony here being the being the base and because my light is fucked up my lighting is fucked up but you actually this is actually the sign of pisces with the fish so i definitely see harmony coming within the self and it's this sense of purity, this sense of rebirth, this sense of acceptance, this sense of confidence, you know. And this, and it's, it's exuding in a way that is very magnetic, Pisces, all right. So I feel like good shit, keep it up. But some of you all are definitely going to be traveling, okay. Do you see the um, the different countries there at the bottom? Some of you guys are spreading your wings. You're moving forward. And you, if, if you're moving forward in a way where you know, you know that you're protected. It's more so like... I'm the captain of my own ship, and I'm going to sail that motherfucker because I have no reason to be in this place anymore. Fear does not long, was, does no longer, fear no longer belongs to me. It's no, it has no type of attachment to my vibration that I'm walking into 2019 with, period. And some of you all really need to watch out for the snakes. Some of you all, it's, it was, the whole lesson was about your integrity, self-worth. Getting yourself out of this sense of projection, allowing yourself pretty much acceptance to the allowance of other people projecting their fears on you. You're moving forward towards your destiny. Things are balancing out for you to detach you from situations, from, from toxic people, from circumstances that no longer suit your growth. They no longer agree with you. And it's really accepting that and not looking at it from a space of what you lost. But what the fuck you you have to gain moving forward? Everybody can't go, Pisces. Period. Okay? So let's get it. Let's see what your shmoney looking like, all right? Oh, spirit. What messages do you have for my Pisces? Finances for January 2019. What messages do you have for my Pisces? Career and finances. January 2019. Career and finances. 
some of you all have really been in your head about moving forward, but I feel like some of y'all not making a move. Some of you guys, I feel like the third, you, you're going to sit still for the first two weeks of January. I feel like there's definitely going to be a new opportunity, a new opportunity that presents itself the third week of January, okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all ain't going to just make that damn move because some of you guys are trying to control situations in which you're supposed to move forward in. So if you feel that I've been putting in all this work, I, I'm not seeing this damn growth, it's because you're trying to hold on to things. Some of you guys really have to release that damn lack mindset. Stop looking at what the fuck you do not have. Some of you all, you don't see it coming, but I feel like you were trying to control how things how things are going to move for you. You're trying to control when you're going to make that move. You, you're trying to control how that move is going to be made. And for some of you all, some of y'all, within closing cycles, and those of you who have been waiting for some type of closings to come with the divorce settlement, especially if you were attached to Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus, I definitely feel a divorce um, divorce settlement actually going in your favor okay so in this month of january i do see some of you guys are kind of going to be indecisive some of y'all are really literally not going to see it fucking coming but some of you guys there's some type of paperwork or legalities happening and i feel like you don't you have no clue of what the hell is going on for some of y'all is going to catch you off guard and i feel like it's going to come when you release this release this vibration of internal conflict about trying to control when it come, how it come, what you know about it. Let God do God's job. Let the universe make the movement that it needs to make in alignment for you. Okay. Things are not happening to you. They're happening for you, Pisces. Some of you all, some of y'all are definitely, oh, excuse me. Some of y'all are definitely, um, definitely settling divorces. Okay. If you were dealing with any type of divorces or child support or anything of that nature, some of you guys, I'm hearing fraternity. Some of y'all are going to save some money because somebody's child is not theirs. Sorry. Got to put it out there. Just some real shit, okay? Some of you all are closing cycles. You're releasing cycles where you're in this period of indecision, okay? Or indecisiveness, or maybe you did not know. You, you didn't have that clarity. Some of y'all with this damn moon here, I definitely feel like some of y'all have no idea that somebody at the damn job is plotting against your ass. Especially if you have a Scorpio boss. I feel like for some of you all, it's well it's well damn due for you to be the left that damn job. You can't stand getting your ass up to go there. You don't like the people who work there. You don't even like the people who call you to do what the hell you do. Some of y'all answering the phone on customer service like, thank you for calling such and such. This is Wanda. I'm just throwing out a name. How may I help you? And then you hit that mute button. Bitch, answer your own fucking question. I'm tired of this motherfucking job. They don't pay enough. And yes, ma'am, I'm here. Look, check this out. It's time to stop taking the damn phone, Pisces. We No, we ain't taking that vibration in 2019. We can't do it this year. It's time for you to be real with your damn self. The things that do not, the things that do not light your fire, let that shit go. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're holding on to this lack mindset. Some of you all are very creative, and I feel like you're not moving on your creative pursuits, possibly because you're holding on to a job or some type of like flow of like. Some of y'all holding on to a job you can't stand, so that's preventing you from being creative. And some of y'all holding on to a damn lack mindset and feeling like, well, maybe they won't like my music. Maybe they won't like my art. Well, maybe I can't do that. Maybe I got to keep my job because maybe if the universe push your ass off the cliff and you have that damn top moment, you would get real and understand that whatever it is that you've been working on, you're going to have victory with it. Okay, it's time for Pisces to receive good karma. Okay, the damn shadow period is over. You can come out now. It's over. Okay, quit being so damn scary. Yeah, some of you all, there's definitely a need to move forward from a job or a circumstance that you've been trying to hold on, a hold that you've been trying to hold on to. And whatever it is, when you move forward on your creative endeavor, when you move forward in embracing your authentic self, that newness that spirit is trying to bring into your life, that focus, that balance, baby, and move forward and leave this motherfucking what you don't have lacking, holding on to every little penny because you how you gonna manifest money if you only see what you don't have? I'll wait. Let's get it. Come on, we switching shit up. We got the up switch it up. You understand? I don't know if y'all like my switch it up shit, but <laughs> There's a transformation happening, Pisces. Some of you all, there is 
kind of like some of y'all could also be dealing with Aries because I definitely remember seeing that in Aries reading as well. Same spot. Some of you all, there is um, there's this need to be receptive because for some of you all, love and finances actually go together. Either you or your partner could actually strike some type of crazy opportunity. It's going to bring a transformation to the world that you know already. Some of you all are literally being elevated, all right? And I feel like this is like, for some of you all, you definitely need to believe in miracles, especially around that third week of January, okay? For some of you all, you're going through a transformation, leaving doubt behind, leaving fears behind, leaving lack mindsets behind, leaving everything that does not serve your growth behind. And it definitely has to do with lack mindsets and fear around your finances, your stability. Spirit is aligning a firm foundation for you if only you just trust the process. For some of you, you feel stuck. And it's that fear of being stuck and that feeling of believing that you're stuck that's keeping you stuck. Let it go. Move forward. Balance it out. Focus. Baby, can you focus on me? Focus, Pisces. Focus on winning, being the me, okay? Because I definitely see harmonious outcomes. So if you're being pushed out of a damn job, know that a better one is coming, one that actually brings you harmony, some shit that you actually want to do, some shit that's actually going to bring you balance in your foundations that you're trying to build. And it's also this level of passion around it, something that you actually love to do. When you push towards something that you love to do, chances are you keep doing it. And then if you keep doing it, productivity, productivity, persistence, consistency, manifesting is doing what you're waiting for. Let's get it, okay? Those of you who want to move forward, open your own business. What's stopping you is too many business grants out here. Do your research. Don't worry about what happened in the past. When the past, that didn't fuck the past. And this is now, okay? You're going to live there or now? Let's get it. So Spirit, what do you have? For my beautiful Pisces, they watch the babies. <laughs> In love. For January 2019. January, y'all miss y'all so much. Y'all better know I'm going live on the 26th. We're making a year. We have a, a whole year anniversary party. I'm going to go live before then as well. We got to do a Q&A. We got to get this out because I ain't getting no Q&A in no way. Y'all better get y'all readings in because y'all know when I break, I break. So January 7th is the due date. <laughs> I can't wait to go on break. <laughs> I'll be back in February doing full effect. I promise. And I'm going to be on time. You just watch. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for my Pisces and love for January 2019? Okay. All right. For some of you all, some of y'all feel stuck in love. I feel like some of y'all may be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. All right? I definitely feel like Pisces, again, trust what you feel around the moon cycles. In a situation that you feel stuck in, or maybe you feel that you're financially lacking, okay, there's definitely a turnaround in love matters. Again, I told y'all, I feel like love and the coin is tied for some of you all, right? Especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo or another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all, you feel stuck in a situation. Some of y'all are releasing yourself from a situation um, around the moon cycle, especially if you're tied to a Sagittarius. Or some of y'all got a Sagittarius coming to express their love. I feel like whomever this is, this could definitely be someone who in the past had a lot of options or they could still have a lot of options or they're coming because they see you have options, Pisces. And I feel like Either you or this person feels tied to the connection as if they can't release themselves, okay? But some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn and got a bunch of damn options, okay? I feel like you love this person, but there's definitely going to be some truth and clarity, clarity that you need in order for you to move forward in a situation and move away from it, okay? Some of y'all are moving forward away from a toxic situation from possibly with the fire sign, all right? And this person has this in and out energy, all right? I definitely feel like for some of you all, this person is trying to come in. And I feel like for some of y'all, you could also be dealing with a very intuitive fire sign, or this could be any sign. Some of y'all are dealing with a very intuitive person. They're trying to block block, block a new beginning that you have with moving forward with someone. Some of you guys are getting the opportunity to start over, and you manifested this. And for some of you guys, 
you have victory moving forward. Some of y'all got victory moving forward with an Aries person. And I definitely feel like there are fast, fast moving changes going forward, okay? But some of you all, you could some of y'all manifest this shit, okay? But some of you all, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, and I feel like you really want to bring this person. You want to bring a bunch. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarian person that's really internally conflicted about moving forward. They definitely feel trapped or stuck in the connection. And for some of you all, this person could actually be um, really kind of... For some of y'all, it could be this Aquarian person that's really tied to this Sagittarius person. Maybe this person is really not talking much. They're kind of keeping their feelings suppressed. But they're definitely... I feel like this person is really kind of working on their stability and nurturing themselves, Pisces. And for some of you all, this is kind of causing you a bit of indecision and indecisiveness because I feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all actually have two options. Or some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius person or Earth sign, I mean, Air Earth, Air sign period, Gemini Libra Aquarius that could possibly be kind of in their head about even moving forward in the connection or moving forward away from you, Pisces, and leaving you out in the cold. Because I feel like they're really needing to heal whomever this is. Some of you guys could also be, um, some of y'all, I hate to say it, but I've seen it in the last breath. Some of y'all could actually be losing your job, especially if your boss is a, um, is a air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like for some of you all, you kind of intuitively knew it was coming, but, and I feel like for some of you, you didn't make the, you just make the, take the action moving forward to find another job, but don't worry, it's a blessing in disguise because you guys come out and you started off the reading with the Queen of Pentacles. So it's only shifting you to move forward in your creative endeavors so that you can see the shmoney shmoney. For those of you who are intuitives and who have kind of been in your head about um, starting um, your, starting your practice as far as um, joining the light worker community, please come forward, y'all. We need all the damn light spread that we can get, okay? But I definitely feel that some of you all really need to face your fears and really move forward and allow spirit to really excel you in the way that you that is destined for you to move. Some of y'all are kind of barking up the wrong damn tree. Some of y'all, yeah, some of y'all are really conflicted, internally conflicted about possibly leaving a Sagittarius person out in the cold, or maybe this person is kind of in their feelings about leaving you out in the cold during this time because now they I feel like somebody thought the grass was green on the other side and life just bust their ass in the face like oh my goodness this person loved me I love this person and I feel like this person's really willing to put up a fight during this time and for some of you all I'm feeling to protect your energy especially around the moon cycles some of you all have connections to water goddesses during this time and I feel like for those of you who are connected to water goddesses, some of you may really receive a badass download, possibly while near a body of water. For those of you who live near a body of water, some of you guys could receive a massive download regarding someone doing some type of like malice moon moon rituals or something like that to possibly like cause blockages in your life. And I feel like this is someone whose heart chakra is just completely shut out. This person is really on a lower vibration. So I'm going to need you guys to really especially around moon cycles for those of you who do practice any type of like love who do like um send out petitions or uh practice any particular like love spells and things of that nature somebody is really trying to go against you and i feel like for some of you all this could definitely be someone who you could have had some type of like family structure with some y'all are very internally conflicted, possibly um, regarding being left out in the cold with the taurus as well okay or some type of marriage or some type of like partnership okay some of y'all are kind of in y'all head because maybe you feel that your partner has many 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 options okay but some of you all you feel that you have some type of like toxic connection to possibly this capricorn person who could possibly be attached to an aries person some of y'all are kind of in y'all head regarding i feel like this that's that i'm talking to the people who feel stuck for those of you who feel stuck or trapped in a situation, there's this need to take a leap of faith and not be afraid of forward movement and not be afraid to just kind of go with the flow, coast like the wind, a coast like the damn ocean, Pisces, okay? Y'all water, y'all fish, get your slip and slide on, okay? For some of you all, you're definitely moving away from your past, especially if your past includes water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there's forward movements, eight, 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 it's infinite, baby. For some of you all, you're moving forward towards your Ten of Cups. Your happy family life, happy wife, happy, look, happy wife, happy life, your ace of cups. And I feel like if for those of you who were going through some type of like blockages or some type of stillness or stagnancy, 
spirit, things were working for you. Things were happening for you, not to you. Things that were supposed to be moved out of your life. When, understand this. When people can't get what the fuck they want to get out of you, they tend to show you who the fuck they are. And in the midst of them showing you who the fuck they are, probably see some of these people left your ass out hanging, dangling like the dangling on that damn line. Some of y'all got some of y'all took the bait. And you was dangling on that damn fishing fishing hook trying to get fucking loose because you ain't want to get pulled out your goddamn element. You get what I'm saying? And then right in the midst of that damn rod and reel, pulling you in, pulling you in, that motherfucking hook hit a rock. And your ass got free. And this person thought they left your ass for dead. But then they seen Pisces rise up out the goddamn ashes like the phoenix. And then they said, uh, uh, bye bye. And this is somebody who been pulling the strings for so long. So, because I feel like this this could be a fire sign. This could be someone younger than you. This could be an Aries or a Virgo as well. But I feel like some of you guys could be communicating. This could also be the mother or father of your children. Or this could also be connected to your partner. Okay, your partner could also have a toxic, some type of toxic connection or some type of toxic attachment. That's needing to like a chapter that's needing to be closed. And I feel like for some of you, you kind of been in your head like, is this person going to walk away from me? Is this person going to do that? I definitely feel like you guys can really stop worrying because I do see spirit aligning things the way that they're supposed to go. There's victory moving forward in a soulmate partner, in, in a soulmate relationship, in a divine partnership. And for some of you all, okay, some of y'all who, again, who are dealing with justice, for those of you who are closing chapters, and actually that chapter involves a divorce in order for you guys to move forward and accept that Ace of Cups is in the upright, baby. It's in your motherfucking favor. So with that said, quit being scared. There is an end of cycle. There is an ending to karmic cycles going on, okay? For those of you who are attached, again, to Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, all right, those are fixed energies. There's definitely a decision that's needing to be made. And for some of you all, it's within these people's hands. And for some of you all, it's within your hands if you only choose to choose, if you only choose to not be afraid and choose your self-worth and your actual desires. Because for some of you all, you're desiring a reconciliation, possibly with a fire sign, all right? Or for some of you all, there's a fire sign desiring reconciliation, which you do could already be dealing with a fire sign. For some of you all, it's reconciling with the damn Leo. But I feel like there's definitely newness coming to Pisces. And for some of you, you feel it coming. When I say you feel it, some of y'all feel that love is so damn close. And this damn new beginning that you, some of y'all feel it coming. You the motherfucking empress. Some of you all may be finding out that you're pregnant as well. Or some of y'all could be hearing about birth and have birth close to you. Congratulations, because smoking love the kids. But for some of you all, especially if you're dealing with a Libra, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Aries, Another Pisces, I definitely feel like through this expansion, through this growth, okay, for some of you all, this could be happening around the third week or so you could be finding out about the third week of January. That could be that newness that I saw that was coming to you. But there's definitely a new beginning in love as well. It, it is going to offer passion, okay, fulfillment, desire. And I feel like it's a long time coming, but it's kind of like I'm literally hearing um, sunny days, everybody has them. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? Who stood in that rain with you, Pisces? Never forget, okay? There's a need to forgive your past. This is a time of healing, all right? Healing, acceptance, understanding, enlightenment, all right? And truly being... And really, on a cool, gratitude. Being grateful for everything that you've gone through so that you can truly, really embrace your blessings and your rewards for really standing the course and standing the, standing the test of time. You as well as your lover, all right? So I love you all. This is what I have for you guys for the month of January 2019. Please comment below and let me know how it resonates. And if you have not got your reading, get that motherfucking in before January the 7th because uh, when this girl breaks, she breaks. But I will be having, um, like, on the weekends, I will take three max readings a day, but they're going to be emergency readings. So they won't be um, regularly priced. My 30-minute emergency reading, and that's if you want to read it within that two hour, within a two-hour time frame from the time that you send that email, it's going to be $95. My 45-minute um, is 115 and my uh, hour session on an emergency, I believe, is 135 all right? So 
if you need an emergency reading, hit me up. For the time being, up until January the 7th, 2019, I may extend it to the 10th. I'm not sure. I got to get all these videos up, all right? But if you have not got your reading, I have a $15 off special between my for my 30 and my 60-minute sessions. Get your reading in because I love y'all. And a lot of y'all know y'all be hitting me up. Hey, Mocha, this is, I'm not making no exceptions, all right? I love you all, and y'all let me know. How this resonate? Much love, much light, much abundance, many blessings, and happy new year again, my babies. Let's win. Namaste. Bye, y'all.